should probably set my camera up actually. Because <laughs> uh, my hands are usually shaky. Let me just bring my keyboard up and I'll set you there. I didn't even think about that before I started filming. Yikes. <laughs> uh, it makes it a little better if the camera's stabilized and it's not like shaky, so I'm not gonna hold it. Um, today is Monday. Um, I don't think I slept very well. Um, I slept decently, except for the last couple hours of the night. And yesterday I was extremely tired, and today I was more tired. I think it's the whole time change thing, because it messed up my sleep. Um, so, um, I don't know, I'm really tired. And I tried filming a clip this morning, and after I was done, I was like, dude, I don't think any of that made sense, because I was really tired, you know? So, I started watching it back, and I'm like, no, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so, I deleted it, and I got up and made another cup of tea, and I did the dishes, so, um, you won't be seeing that last clip, but I've had two cups of tea, a glass of milk, a glass of water, very hydrated, <laughs> and, um, I've done the dishes, I got that all done. And, um, I'm thinking about what kind of art video I want to do today. I want to at least get some ideas going, uh, for the video for Friday. And, um, thinking about watercolor and not just, like, watercolors, but, like, watercolor pencils. Because, like, I've tried them out a little bit and they work. I got the cheapest one, so I didn't know how well they'd be. And, um, I want to try making something today, but I, I want to try using, like, just the watercolor pencils, so... I'm debating on what I want to do. Part of me is like, just do a flower. Like, part of me really wants to do a flower, but, like, I feel like that's kind of lame, I guess. Like, I feel like, I don't know, everyone does flowers, but, like, I've never done a flower. So, like, maybe I'll do a flower. I don't know, but <sighs> I just really want to use the watercolor pencils, so that's probably what I'm going to do today. Um, I didn't get to go shopping uh, yesterday. Um, my mom had to go to a surprise party, I guess, that she must not have known out unknown about previously otherwise she would have told me and I would have known beforehand that I wasn't going shopping Sunday but I texted her and Sunday morning and she's like we'll either go shopping way later or we'll go shopping tomorrow because I have to go to a surprise party so I'm like okay and she never texted me and I never texted her um so I figured she just didn't want to go today or yesterday and so I texted her this morning and I was like hey I need to get a few things you know like are we going shopping today and she said maybe I'm like well I at least need like cat food cat litter stuff like that like I can go without buying food today like we have stuff to make spaghetti and we still have cereal and our milk is good for a few more days like we have food you know and so I texted her, I was like, well, I need these things, and she never texted me back, and that was around, like, 9 o'clock, so I just texted her a few minutes ago, and I just, I just said, mom, <laughs> I was like, ma, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if she got the message or not, because, um, sometimes my phone can be a little bit finicky with sending messages, and I don't know why, um, recently it's been fine, but I know a few times I had some issues sending messages to Cody, so, um, I texted her and she still hasn't replied. She might be in a meeting, but I know Pebbles. <sighs> I know her her lunch is soon, so I know she should get to me by her lunch. And then if she doesn't, and it's like I'll wait again until like three o'clock to text her again and ask her if she got my message. I probably should have said that before saying mom. Like I like instead of just texting her mom, I should have said, "Did you get my message?" But you know I didn't, <laughs> so I'm gonna wait and um, I'll wait until like three. Because then by then, like, she'll have had all of her breaks and stuff. And I'll know by then that, like, if she hasn't texted me yet, she probably didn't get my message. Either that or she forgot about it. So, I'm going to wait until then. And we'll just see how it goes. Pebbles is playing with one of the mice. She's having a fun time. <laughs> I fed the cats tuna this morning. And they're all happy. Melanie's hungry again already. Um, but they're also used to, like, free feeding and stuff like that. Um, but Melanie's always hungry. She's got a lot of weight to maintain. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm thinking about, uh, when I buy cat food to not free feed anymore and to try to get them on a schedule. And I've been waking up pretty consistently and I feel like, say, one day I decide to, like, fall back asleep or accidentally fall back asleep. Once the cats are on a schedule, they'll wake me up. 
um, because when Melanie's hungry, she gets very loud. <laughs> so I'm sure she'll probably end up waking me up. And um, I don't know how to start free feeding, especially because they're used to eating all the time. And I think just like dogs, you're only supposed to feed cats twice a day. Um, but I have no idea because, again, I just I free feed. And I never had a problem until Melanie got like six or seven and she started gaining weight because she was older and she was starting to become like a little bit less active. She started gaining weight. Pebbles is really active. She weighs almost as much as Melanie, but Pebbles has a larger structure than Melanie because of the main coon that's in her. So she's a little bit bigger than like the average cat, but she's, she is overweight. She's not like crazy fat or anything. Um... I don't even think she would have loose skin either, like, she just holds her weight really well. Plus, she's really fluffy, so would you even really notice? But, because, like, when she lays down, like, she's not all flabby like Melanie is, so. Uh, I know that she is gonna end up being overweight if she continues, though. Um, I don't think she's necessarily overweight yet. For cat-wise, I think she is, like... But like for her body size, I don't I don't think she's that bad, but I know she could definitely be a more like good size, like especially like I worry about Melanie because she's so old and overweight and like pretty much everything spooks her and I'm afraid like with all the weight and all the food and like she'll get spooked and like have a heart attack or something, like it spooks me. Cause she's considered like an elderly cat. I worry about my elderly cats. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm thinking about starting the feeding like three times a day and then lower it after like a week or something to two times a day because for one, I don't even know how, like I could probably read it off the bag and go by that. Um, I'd have to necess I'd have to feed Melanie more because of the fact that like I don't want her to lose weight too fast because that's unhealthy. Um, she didn't gain the weight really fast, so, like, that's fine, but she is overweight. Um, I just don't want her to lose the weight too fast because I don't want it to, like, hurt her in some way, especially because she is so freaking old. But she's not that old, I guess. She's, like, she's only 12. She's gonna be, like, she's old. <laughs> but I don't know. I just care about my kitty. I don't want her to lose weight way too fast, so I'll probably feed her, um... A little bit more and Eve's a fine weight she weighs like probably less than she should um, but she was malnourished when she was younger so um, I don't think she's generally as big as she could have gotten to begin with um, so I think generally she's at a healthy weight um, but it's just Pebbles is a little bit over the healthy weight, and Melanie's, like, definitely over that healthy weight. She's always gonna have that flab, but I'd rather her weigh less, because it's to the point to where she, she she weighs so much, it's hard for her to get on the couch without using her claws to pull her up, because she can't jump as high anymore, because she weighs so much. And that makes me feel bad, especially because since she is getting old, if she ends up getting, like, hip problems or something, her weight's gonna affect that more. And because, like, her weight, it can start to affect her sooner and stuff like that. So I just want to get her on the right track before, like, she starts to have other problems or potentially if she starts to have other problems. Because uh, she might be fine until the day she dies, honestly. But I don't know. I just worry about my cats. I'm just here talking about my cats. <laughs> but I just want them to be healthy and live their best lives. And, like, Melanie's living her best life. She gets all the food she wants. But, like, it's gone to the point to where, like, she's literally a dog. If you're cooking, she will stand under your feet and meow and purr and beg for food. Like, she's, like, a small dog. Like, not even, not even joking. <laughs> she's, like, a small dog. <laughs> so, I need to, like, lower her food intake. We don't give her food when we're cooking or anything. We just tell her to shoo. Like, get away, you're not getting food. You know what I mean? But she still does it every single day and she never ends up getting food. Every once in a while we'll drop something and she'll snatch it up real fast. But like, besides that, like, she doesn't get food. Ever. We never feed her. Well, I don't want to be mean and say we never feed her. We feed her. But we don't like, when we're cooking, we don't feed her. <laughs> well, I don't feed my cats. <laughs> Whatever. 
<sighs> I just don't know how to go about it in the right way. And I'm thinking about going to the vets first. Because Melanie hasn't been to the vets in like 97 years. Um, so I think generally she, she should go just because of her age and her weight. And also because like I w if I want to stop free feeding and Melanie's been free fed her entire 12 years of being alive. How do you get a cat out of the habit of free feeding? I know a lot of it is like tough love, like if she's meowing at you for food to not give her food and to wait until the designated times, but then the other part of me is like, I'm starving with cat, <laughs> you know, and I feel horrible, but like, I don't know, days like this when I feed her tuna in the morning, she's usually fine pretty much all day until like a little bit after Cody gets home and then she starts being noisy. So like, I think she's okay with it. I just don't want to feel like I'm like I don't I don't want to feel like I'm starving my cats when I'm really not. But like Melanie will eat everything. She'll eat everything. When I fed her tuna this morning, she even licked the plate clean and then she sat and waited to lick the plates of the other cats. And like it's ridiculous. Like she's literally a dog and like Pebble she'll eat until she she's full and then like, even if her food's not even done, and she'll walk away. Melanie will just keep eating forever. She's, I don't, she's like a vacuum cleaner. She just sucks up all the food. Oh my god, my cat's, my cat has binge eating problems. I wonder where she got that. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm still deciding on what I want to do for the art video. Um, I'm not really sure if I necessarily want to do a flower. I've never even really drawn a flower to begin with. So I might do something else. Part of me also wants to use gel pens. I was coloring last night and I was like, I really want to color with gel pens. <laughs> but I think um, I'm going to do the watercolor video first. I might even do a Pokemon, which you like, that's kind of like my fallback. Like if I want to draw something, I'm like, oh, a Pokemon. <laughs> They're just fun and I love them. So I might even end up doing that or something dumb. But I don't know. It gives like a good basis of the art medium and trying to get used to it considering like I've drawn Pokemon before, I've painted Pokemon before, I know how to Pokemon, so like I should be able to figure it out with watercolor pencils? I don't know. I guess that makes sense. It makes sense to me. It probably doesn't make sense, but I guess it doesn't matter. So whatever. Throw that out the window. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm waiting for the dishes to dry so I can put those away. I'm probably going to start on the art video stuff. I don't know how big I want to do it yet. And um, I'm going to wait for my mom to text me. Cody just sent me a weird message. There are six on the package? What does that mean? He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's crazy. I'm going to go text him back and wait for my mom to hopefully text me soon. I'm probably going to make another cup of tea. Start this art video stuff, and uh, so see you guys uh, in a little bit. I don't know when, but you know, at some point, I'll be back. Hi guys, it's been a little while. Uh, I had some lunch, I made mac and cheese. Um, I still have yet to put the dishes away, I actually forgot all about that. And um, I know what I want to do for my video with the watercolors, but my only issue is... Like, all my videos are always on an angle because I don't have a straight down view for my tripod. It's just one of the straight ones. It doesn't have another thing that, like, bends forward or anything. So it's just straight, and I can only tilt my camera so far down because, like, it's heavy. Um, so it's always at an angle, which is, like, okay for some videos, but I really want, like, a straight up-down view but I don't know how to, like, figure out how to get that. You know what I mean? I don't know, and it's frustrating. And I want to try to do that for this video. But I don't know how to. Because my tripod is just, like, a regular tripod. And it just has a straight neck. Um, so I can't tilt it or nothing. And this only tilts down so far. It could tilt down a little bit farther. But my camera's just so heavy that if I tilt it down so too far... Uh, the tripod will go, nope, and it'll just fall over, so, um, I'm having a little bit of, of an issue trying to figure out how to do that. I was thinking I could probably rig it up behind my monitors somehow, 
Um, but it would probably be very unstable and I could like hit my desk a little bit and it might just like fall over and it's not exactly safe for my camera or whatever I'm doing on my desk so I probably won't do that. I don't want to get a new tripod or anything either so maybe I'll just have to deal with the angle thing. I don't know. I'll probably just have to deal with it. I could probably get an another tripod if I ever end up getting any sort of money ever in my life. Um, but I don't even know how much that would cost because I'd assume it would cost more. It doesn't have to be huge. It could be tiny like this tripod. Um, it doesn't have to be huge or nothing. And this one was 15 bucks at Walmart, so I assume one with, like, a different, like, neck that can, like, go down. And then I'd, even if it did go straight down, and so then my camera could go straight down, wouldn't it still, I'd have to put, like, a weight on it to counterbalance it? But with tripods, or at least with mine, some of them might be kind of different, I guess. Not really sure. But I assume all of them are like mine, and they have the leg thing, these things in the middle. So I could always put a weight on that. That way when this neck thing, if it did go straight out, it would have weight down here to, like, keep it down. I could put, like, a bag of rice on it or something, but I think I'm just going to have to wait until I get a different tripod. I could probably try searching up prices and look at them and see what I want and what will work best for what I want and go from there. Um, and then maybe I can get it for my birthday in March. I can ask my mom for it or something. <sighs> I have no idea. It's just kind of frustrating because I'm sick of all my videos being on an angle. Certain videos, like, well, it doesn't really matter that it's on an angle. But, like, it's really obnoxious, because, like, for my last video, my acrylic painting one, and, I don't know, it just really upset me that it was on an angle, because I feel like it doesn't look as good when it's on, like, a weird angle versus if you're looking at it straight on. And I could have it, like, instead of over there, I could always put my tripod on this side and use my desk... But then I had the whole issue where, like, the tripod gets in the way or I'm trying to look around the camera. And that's why when I do art videos, I tend to put the camera in front of me and do it that way. And then I just flip the footage. Um, so I don't really know. But regardless, even with flipping the footage, because the camera is facing down this way, but it's facing it on, like, an angle. So, like, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways... <laughs> even without the footage flipped so like it's facing the right way so you're not watching the video upside down it's still on an angle it's just tilted the other way obviously but it's just obnoxious I'm just sick of the whole angle thing I feel like it's dumb and I don't understand how people can get the straight up and down videos without a tripod like that I mean I can always like use my phone and f fix a rig for it using something considering my phone isn't as heavy but my camera brings um it, it it does a better quality like it like you know what I mean it's just better quality to use my camera than it is to use my phone plus it's just I don't want to necessarily say easier but like I guess it's easier I don't know it's just frustrating and I don't know how to get it how I want. I was thinking, oh, well, like, I could set it, no, because that wouldn't even work. Because mm. I was thinking I could, no, because that wouldn't work, that wouldn't work. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm nuts. But, I don't know. It's just kind of frustrating. But it's what I gotta deal with until I can get a better tripod, I guess, or just, not even a better one, but just, like, a different one. Because I wanted to be able to put, like, not necessarily permanent setup, but, like, a permanent setup. Like, to wear, like, permanent as in I don't have to, like, take it down every single time. Because when I film, like, say at my desk, I put the camera and tripod up on my desk. And then I film, and then I take it off because, like, it's my desk. And I need to have the room to, like, edit and stuff like that. But on my other desk, I want something, like... Because I use that desk mainly just only for art, so I want to be able to have, like, a setup over there behind me where I won't have to move it every single day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. It's kind of difficult, especially because 
kind of in a dumb way, but also not in a dumb way. I decided to put the lamp over this desk instead of over that desk. And it's kind of dumb considering this is my art desk. It should be over the art desk because that's where I need the light. But also, if I want to do art streams, which I have already, I won't have light once, like, it stops being sunlight out and it's starting to get darker earlier because it's getting closer to winter. And then soon it'll be pitch black by 5.30 at night. And so if I want to be able to do art streams, especially in the winter, I need a lamp over here. <sighs> So, even if I did figure out how to rig the stand that I want where it's, like, straight up and down, even if I did figure out how to do that, and I'm pretty sure I could figure out how to do it over there, because this desk is a lot different than this, this desk, um, I'd only be able to film over there during the day, and even during the day, like, it's kind of bright in here. You can see it from the window, but, like, the desk area itself is kind of dark. And I could always put a daylight bulb in that lamp, I guess. Right now it's just a regular yellow light bulb. But, I don't know. Also, that desk is a mask. Mask? Wow. I have, like, paints and canvases and sketchbooks and coloring books and my sweaters and, like, everything is on top of that desk right now. Also, my kitty is here. Hi, kitty. How's it going? She just climbed up and started patting my arm. You don't give me pets, I give you pets! <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I don't know. I just want to figure out something. I could probably, I'm probably just going to Google it and see if I can find anything on Amazon. And go from there because um, I, I don't think I'll be able to not even necessarily change my current tripod, but like figure out something that is like actually gonna work for a camera as heavy as mine I don't know how much it weighs but like it weighs a decent amount like there's weight to it excuse me oh geez a tripod because there's a lot of really fancy ones this one's 130 bucks for a tripod dude I'm, I'm not a billionaire <laughs> throw that in the trash <laughs> I just want something simple like mine, like cheap, simple, effective, I can put a weight on it. Yeah, see these tripods, except for this one, which is 25 bucks, doesn't have the thing in the middle, the little arms that connect the legs. Uh, these ones, I, I assume, I don't even know why they wouldn't have it actually, I assume it's for like weight distribution or something? I don't know, but I want one that folds... Like how I told you guys about. But all of these pictures of the tripods just show the tripod closed. Like, down. So, yeah, no, this one. Which, is, it looks exactly like mine. It's a different brand. Looks exactly like mine. And it's like ten bucks more than my, what I bought mine for. Like, two years ago. Because I, I broke my last one. <laughs> I'm really good at breaking them. And... I don't know. Some of these are like really freaking nice looking, but I don't need it nice looking. No one's gonna see it except for me. <laughs> uh, I just want something that like bends t like all the way like flat, but like I want the arm like the arm like I have that extends out of the tripod, but I want another edge to it that tips down because otherwise if it just tips straight down like, even if I tipped mine all the way straight down, then we have the balance issues. And then there's also, like, the legs could be in the way and stuff like that. So I think that'd be easier, but maybe they don't make tripods like what I'm thinking of. Unless, like, instead of the arm, maybe, I don't know how to, my brain isn't making sense. But it's just... I assume you guys understand <laughs> what I'm going for here in tripod land. And I don't even know what to search. Like, what do I search? Like, tripod that aims straight down. Like, I don't think that's going to give me any good results. I can't believe these. some of these tripods are expensive. Some of these aren't bad. This one looks really nice. And it looks like it's gold. And it's the same price that I bought mine for. And the bag looks nicer too. But I mean, I just got mine at Walmart. It looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. 
if I, even if I bought this one because it does look nice it would just it would give me it would look the same and like the thing it has the option to go straight down in a way because if I pick this up which this should do it yeah so if you look at this because this is the flat bit that your camera hooks into and it's a little bit tight right now because it's not loosened that way it doesn't flop around but it can go straight down but then the issue is like the legs will be in the way and like I don't I don't know maybe I'll mess around with that and see if I can get a good angle with just flipping this sideways maybe if I freaking loosen this I'm a bum but maybe if I just like I don't know I, I assume I'd be able to figure something out but like I feel like it wouldn't, it would be too far that way and it wouldn't be far enough towards me. And it would have to be like, like if the art was like right here, that the tripod would have to be straight on top of it to get that straight down view. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm worried about because this goes like straight down, which means it's looking directly right in front of these legs. So wouldn't it have to be like literally like on top of the art that I'm doing to be able to get the view that I want? Does any of this make sense? Am I making sense to anyone? <sighs> I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'm I'm sure I could figure it out with what I got. Um, Cause I don't really see anything different. I mean, this tripod's like really nice. I would buy this one over my own. Uh, just because it's like golden looking and uh, it looks sweet, but it's literally the exact same tripod, just not in silver. <laughs> so it's not even worth it, but it looks nicer. <laughs> Probably just the color. But some of these are like really freaking intense. Like, I could get like the most amazing shots like on my tripod. You don't need a $150 tripod to get better shots. You know, maybe they do more things than, like, because they can probably go taller, but, like, dude, you don't need something that fancy to get good stuff. It's, like, the same thing where you don't need good art supplies to make good art. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because I want to start doing this art video. I'm at least going to do the sketch because I want to do the sketch off camera so I can just get right into, like, the coloring and stuff like that. I'm not even sure if I'm going to ink it first or after or at all. I'm not really exactly sure what I want to do with any of it. <sighs> but <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm probably going to look at more tripods, honestly. Um, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. I hope you guys had a good weekend and stuff like that. I hope you guys' Monday was okay. How is that time change effect in all of you? Because <laughs> I'm extra tired, which is weird considering I got more sleep one night. Uh, but it's ruined me. <laughs> <laughs> so here, here we are. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.